Hello, everyone. Welcome to the weekend, Mary. Yeah, welcome uh, to Saturday. Welcome to What's On Saturday. Yeah. And halfway yes. through the weekend. So I hope oh. you guys are having a great weekend so far, and I hope that you all had a great sales week. I actually had a really good sales week. I also had a really good sales week. If you remember last week, I had a lot of sales to report to you guys because I sent out like 22% off or something weird like that on everything with discount shipping, mm -hmm. and so I sold a lot because of that. You're gonna see on the 19th of this week that I did the same thing, but I sent 35% off. So many So sales. I have a lot of sales on the 19th, so just get ready for that. Which also means we're not really gonna talk much today about like other platforms because we have a lot of posh sales to get through. Yes. So editing Jack's fingers are gonna be like smoking, like on <laughs> fire. I will say though, my Depop did very well this week. I think I made six Depop sales yesterday. I... Which is insane for like a week. I think I had one or two Depop sales, but I have not done edit shares all week. I know that for I a fact. I haven't for a minute. I need to today, though. I also wanted to ask you guys, for any of you that do do eBay or even just have all your stuff on eBay, mm -hmm. have you been noticing eBay sales very much? Like, any traction? Because I have not had much eBay sales for at least two weeks now. Like, not only Miles. have we just not talked about them, but even if we were going to, I haven't really yeah. had much to talk about. Even mm -hmm. though most of my stuff is on there, I do need to keep cross-posting. I'm a little little behind mm -hmm. on that, but I'm very interested if anyone else has had any eBay luck lately. But this week of What's on Saturday covers the 15th through the 21st. Yes, there are, of course, as usual, a couple things I would like to say to you guys before we jump into it. First off, thank you everyone that watched my haul and enjoyed it. There were a lot of bolos, and there was even some luxury finds, and just a, that was a lot good of good finds. That was a really that good haul. haul. Speaking of bins, because that was a bins haul, this next week mm -hmm. on Wednesday, we are going to the bins, which is not shocking or new. No, we love the bins. We go on the time. But Debbie has the day off. And my brother is very interested in like dabbling more into like being a hard goods seller. So we're having like a family it's be like bins a bash. Family bins trip. And I'm wondering if you guys be. want me to try to film this and make a video out of like the Debbie goes to the bins because Debbie going to the bins is a very rare occasion. Debbie loves the bins, but yeah. she's very like that little old lady that fills a card in three minutes but loves <laughs> just like anything. Yeah, and then can't catch up for like months. No. So it's a rare occasion. There's not going to be many times when I can make like a we go to the bins with debbie video this so, is a lot of times yeah if you're interested let me know one last thing what's happening on tuesday i know multiple of you guys got two okay couple more things <laughs> then i <laughs> promise we're gonna get into it because i want to get through this too tuesday is going to be a halloween spooky bolo list of 10 brands that are very spooky uh, scary uh, i'm super excited i can't wait and then we are obviously doing something for the valentines on wednesday it's gonna somehow branch off of being like a spooky bolo thing we haven't fully figured it out there will be a bonus something valentine's video that ballpark. And then Thursday is going to finally be a bins haul that's both of us. We had a very good a bins hot. trip last week. I had two I The one that bags. you guys saw on the yes, Thrift With Us. Yes, the Thrift With Us, that haul was amazing. We're going to do that. Um, I have two Ikea bags, and I would like to share those things with the rest of you. Yes. Last, we're going to do P.O. Box packages next week. Yes. I know there's a... I'm not missing your comments. I know there's mm -hmm. a few people who said, go check your P.O. Box. Even on Posh, I think some people said that. Yes. We have. We have a few saved up. We have them all here. But we don't want to, like, do them this week, and then more spooky ones come in next week, mm -hmm. and we forget to check next week or something. I so have gotten a lot of messages saying that, like, lovely little Halloween morsels that are in the mail. I am pumped. I so, can't wait. So spooky Christmas will wait. be next, what's on Saturday. Anyway, I can't wait. I know what one of them's going to be, and I'm, like, a giddy little kid. I don't. Because it's a Disney thing. Anyways, deep breath. We're gonna get into this very, very packed What's on Saturday. I'm gonna try to not talk about every single thing for a million hours. <laughs> And editing Jack, good luck, here we go. This is the week of the 15th through the 21st. On the 15th, we started off a little slower and I had two. Three. My first sale was this pair of Doc Martens Block Heel Wax Smooth Leather Loafers. These sold for $76, I get 60, 80. I did pay up for them as in like 28 or 29, but they sold very quickly. I love Doc Martens. And then perfect for the season, I sold this Lauren Moshi Skull Ice Cream Graphic Sweatshirt. This had a ton of likes and it would have sold way quicker but one whole arm was like slightly discolored. Still sold though because it's a rare Lauren Moshi. 
30 bucks, I get 21, 32. You could just tie dye it. True. Um, okay, so my first two on the 15th were kind of interesting because they were from the exact same person and I feel like they didn't realize that they were buying them from me. First was this Free People Marina Tan Linen Blend Dress. That one sold for 65. And these were both like full price sales. Um, I make 52. So wow. these were like rare, like older Free People pieces that apparently sold for a ton back in the day. And like there had been none listed for like six months. This was another one of them. It was this Free People Tan Embroidered, the City Limits little tunic dress. This one sold full price for 45. So one woman spent $110 in Free People dresses in like two And minutes. that's just from you. What if she was like shopping for a bunch of them? <laughs> and also let her like, know. I think in the Vintel on Thursday, I have a vintage Free People there, dress. Yeah, I have a couple. So we There's a few. Um, and then my last on the 15th was this Pendleton Vintage 1960s Blue Red Buffalo Check jacket sold for 50 I make 40 I love Pendleton. I love That's one of those Pendleton. labels oh when my you God. see it in the bins, you just like your heart beats a little <gasps> bit faster. You just sing a little bit, yeah. you know? You sing a little ditty. <laughs> so on the 16th, I had two once again. Eight. My first one was this pair of Smartwool Merino wool printed footy leggings. These sold for $30. I get 21 32. So they are the weirdest thing to photograph on the face <laughs> of the so freaking hard. earth, but they do sell well and they, they sell every good. time. Then, kind of from Ryan's own personal collection, but kind of not. It's a very interesting situation. I don't know if I want to dive into the whole thing, but I sold these Louis Vuitton sequin shimmer monogram men's loafers. TLDR, Jack gave these to me and I loved them, but they were just a half size too small. Jack's version of the TLDR, Sorry, the back. I bought them somewhere to sell. They ended up fitting Ryan. He stole them from me never wore it i took them back i sold them i would like to contest <laughs> and that's it for my 16th so okay. that's a great sale my first on the 16th was this nbd charlie long sleeve leopard print bodysuit nbd is one of those like really overpriced revolve brands some of the dresses can do good but some of the tops and stuff are just kind of like little bread and butter one things. of those ones where like the quality's not really no good. they were like absolute chintz it's kind of like love which kind of sucks love your lemons love your for love and lemons yeah it's all just chintz um 25 sold for 20 it was a bin fine so like i'm not really mad at 20 dollars. then miss jolene popped into my closet and got this adorable little bundle jolene liked the dolly parton song Jolene. is her poshmark little oh tag. yes she's bought for me before Love. too she got this really cute dunian burke pink little logo shoulder bag and this really adorable vintage tan wool blend beret bundle sold for 50 dollars and i make 40 thank you jolene then i sold this pair of dance goes does anybody, anybody want, want some dance, dance goes? goes that has been a moment oh my god <laughs> abstract floral multicolor clogs sold for 25 i make 20 i did send out a few offers on some like heavier things or like some shoes that i've had for a long time and the dance goes i got a counter offer and i was like ttyl they were bins fine anyway. Then I sold this Fleur de Mal, which is a big bolo, uh, red strappy bondage, little like bralette lace cami lingerie situation. Sold for $50. I make 40 And this thing was literally three pieces of red lace and some mesh. Two laces. And it retailed for almost two hundred dollars. It's crazy. It's wild. If you Absolutely can master wild. the lingerie like market, we should do like wow. a lingerie bolo at some point. I don't know any. I love so. lingerie. Okay, then I sold one of my favorite men's bread and butter items, carbon to cobalt gray long sleeve Henley. It sold for twenty two dollars. I make fourteen ninety two. Then I sold this pair of Levi's plus size mile high super skinny jeans. Sold for thirty five. I make twenty five thirty two. Then next went to Miss Jen. She got this really cute bundle of this Rebecca Taylor La Vie Nadia navy blue blouse and this barefoot dream. Navy blue cozy chic a little cardigan sold for $72. I make $57.60. And my last on the 16th went to the lovely Miss Angie. Got this really cute pair of Zara light washed ripped knee mom jeans sold for $28. I make $19.72. On the 17th, I had two again. Ooh. Before I get into it, I totally forgot to mention full car club shirt. <laughs> I haven't worn this in the video in a while. We do you still really wear. It our full car club stuff nobody think we don't it's just for videos i like to like also we film these videos something. like early ish in the morning so this is like my go-to like comfy t-shirt yeah but i like to like pick out something like i like to be very like purposeful with my video outfits and these are more just like hanging out going to the bin yeah this yeah. is my photographic t-shirt because it's soft it's comfortable it's covered <laughs> in stains so like i said 17th i had two my first one was an adorable madewell sweater the chunky so oversized cute. striped sweater sold for 40 dollars. i get 29 at 32 and then then Gabby popped into my closet, and Gabby is a good, good, good oh, friend of ours. Oh, Gabby, Gabby. I she love her. She is from Minnesota, but now lives in New York. She's a New York, New York girl. And for her bedroom, she bought this Viana Zebra Handmade Area Rug that was so cute. I would have kept it, but I can already picture our future home, and I don't think we're really going to have a room that this no. would work in, but Well, the one thing does. about Gabby is Gabby has taste. Yes. Capital T taste. Gabby and I are drawn 
to literally the exact same thing. Like, it's they're almost like scary. little fashion sisters. Yes. Because they like, always have the same, or they'll find the same thing on the real reel, and I'll get a text from Gabby, be like, is this cute? And then Jack will be like, what do you think of this? And it's the exact same thing. I will look it's through actually the real like, reel, really funny. just because I'm like, I want to look at bombers, and I want a new bomber or something, or like, I want to look at shoes, and like, I will see something that catches my eye, I'll like it, and then like, an hour and a half later, I see it in her Instagram story. And I'm just like, how do we... How can we have like the same eyes? <sighs> we see each other. We see each other. We see each other. We good. So she got this for sixty five. Anyway. I get fifty two. So thank you very much, Gabby. And we want to see you again. So like, come visit. Come or I'll go to New York. Yeah. It, it does New not. Take, it does not take much for me to go to that lovely city. Anyway. It takes money. That yes, but like energy and effort, I'm there. I one on the eighteenth. Lululemon wonder. Seventeenth. I'm so sorry. Lululemon wonder under reversible cropped leggings sold for twenty five. Number 20, nothing remarkable. On the 18th, I had six. I had one. This is when the steam starts like picking up because the 19th is gonna be the big day. First of six, Aritzia Levi's black high boot cut kick flare jeans. Sold for $50, I get 40. This style was sold like everywhere. Mm -hmm. And they do really good all yes. over the place. Then I sold this pair of American Eagle cross button highest rise mom shorts. These sold for 20, I get 16. I believe those are from 2021. I'm That's definitely cool. much more picky with the shorts. The shorts, like they have to be the cross button style and they have to be like the past two years. Yeah. Jeans, you can kind of like base it more on style and have mm -hmm. in the past like four shorts little different. Or if they're new with tags still. Yeah. That's the one that I always get. Then I sold this Madewell striped split midi skirt, sold for 20 and I get 16. Then I sold this pair of Zara V-slit vamp healed pumps. Those These would be good luck. Which shoes? Yes, they would. Sold for 28, I get 22, 40. Then I sold this rare Free People Indigo Dolman quilted jacket about two years ago. These were the Free people like Forever Twenty One knocked him off. It was like a Dia Prada moment. I'm sure you guys have seen this by every brand. Oh, because yeah. now you can get it at Target. You can get it from Free People. Still, mm -hmm. you can get it from TJ Maxx. You can Forever get Twenty One. Anybody Zara makes them. Anybody. So these used to go for like three hundred dollars, and the retail is like two ninety eight. So they would absolutely keep their value. And if it was a rare color, I think you could get even more. I bought this. As that was just simmering off, I think everyone just started copying Everybody it. finally was like, I have one. So I did pay like 35 at least. And this sold for 100 and I get 80. I had it listed for 200, but honestly, these just keep getting more and more like common. So mm -hmm. I'm like, get out now before I can't get rid of you. Yeah, and you doubled your money. Yeah, yeah like at you, least you I made money thing. at this point. Mm -hmm. I wish I'd gotten it earlier. Then I think Haley is a viewer. Just because she said thanks, Jack, in her little Aww. like review, but I'm it's not nice. sure she could have just read my name on the label. She purchased this vintage Halloween tacky 80s trick or treat sweatshirt. Thank you, Ryan, for bringing that to me. I love this. Sold for 25. I get 20. So thank you, Haley. If if you're out there, if you're listening, Haley, if you can hear me, go <laughs> toward the light. <laughs> and that's it for my 18th. Okay, one and only on the 18th was this pair of Anthropology Current Air. Blue Bell Jacquard, really amazing little dress pants. These sold for 40 and I got 32. Everybody, deep. I feel like I need to go get like a snack deep for this. Breath. Or yeah, Ryan could go though. take like a lunch break while I cover the 19th. Okay, well, I'll so. be, I'm taking a 30. <laughs> Can you imagine if I just come back with like chips? On the 19th, <laughs> I had 18 sales. I had four. So just a reminder, if you have never used or haven't in a while, use that like offer to liker button and you'd like to move some stuff out, do it. The like mass offer to liker, that is one of my favorite tools. It works so it's well. It's so nice. That and the share to followers. And if you can't tell, I am- So good. I am in a mood of like, get everything out. Keep it. I want new stuff. Oh yeah. Get out of here. So first up on the 19th, seven for all mankind, Dojo Flare baggy Y2K jeans. These sold for 40, I get 32. You can get more, but- Move them. Yeah. Then- Oh God. This has nothing to do with the 35% off. You've got it. You are the only person that like this just I haven't too. been able to do this in a while. I sold this- <sighs> Cue the lights. <laughs> Agua by Agua Bendita Pistachio beaded maxi dress. This sold for $500. I did have it priced at $900, but I've had it for a little while, so I will take $500 and I get $400. I cannot remember what I paid for this, but I know I made a lot of money. Agua Bendita. You sold a $400 pair of shoes and a $500 dress. Yeah. 
Mm. Now back to reality, back to the 35% off offers. I sold this pair of athletic kick boot cut wide leg yoga pants for $18 and I get $14.40. Then I sold this vintage academia plaid printed wool fall pair of shorts for $16 and I get $11.08. Then to Spark Joy Thrifts, Unfortunately, her Posh account doesn't have her name on it, and I do not have the email with her shipping label anymore, so I couldn't uh, find her name. Sorry. But Spark Joy Thrifts purchased this pair of American Eagle Distress Classic Wash jeans for her daughter for 19, and I get 1348. I don't know why it was laid out <laughs> like that, but I actually was missing these jeans. I felt horrible, but I had two other pair of like the exact same style of American Eagle jeans. And I was like, I'm just gonna send you two. You can have them. Enjoy. And she said that she, her daughter loves them. So thank goodness. Oh, nice. But thank you very much, Spark Joy Thrifts. Then I sold this pair of Levi's Vintage 501 straight like mom denim jeans, sold for 29, I get 21.48. Made well checkered wide leg Houston pants, sold for 29, I get 21.48. I had recently got these. I actually didn't mean for these to get the 35% off, but you know what? They're, They're gone, sold. that's okay. Then I sold this pair of Anthropology Dolce Vita suede Kalani boots, sold for 32, I get 23.88. J. Crew Point Sir wide leg cropped fall pants, and these sold for 19, I get 1348 vintage plaid 80s 70s flared checkered pants that I was very very tempted these to were, keep. You should have kept these. These were, these were adorable. Beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see the color well but they're like this mix of like orange and red checkered. It was Ugh. so cute. They were adorable. Sold for 26 I get 1908 then I sold this supreme mint denim logo metallic hat for 65 and I get 5028. A lot of Eights. Everything ends in eight. That must be something with the shipping. Lucky discount. number eight. Then I sold this Free People pair of Levi's Ribcage straight leg light jeans for 52 and I get 39.88. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Then I sold this pair of Birkenstock leather slide sandals, and they do have the toe prints that make Debbie very, very, very upset. She's neurotic. <laughs> like, she's actually neurotic. Sold for 29 and I get 21.40. Eight. Then I sold this J. Crew Cashmere Color Block Fringe Knit Scarf. Sold for twenty two. I get fifteen eighty eight. Do you know what this is? If I have to hear eight of, one more it's time, it's giving me vibes of another nickel. <laughs> Then I sold this Anthropology <laughs> Sleeping on Snow open cardigan for 22 and I get 15.88. Then I sold this Reformation recycled cashmere ribbed mm -hmm. sweater. I nice. probably wouldn't have actually wanted to send up this big of a discount on this as well, but oops, I did. Sold for 97, I get 75.88. That was cute though. Finally, not an eight. Then I sold this Anthropology Aldo Martins checkered sweater. Aldo Martins is an extremely expensive Anthropology brand, mm -hmm. and some pieces do really, really well. This one I had no model picture for, so it didn't do as well. Sold for forty-five. I get thirty-three, thirty-two, and last oh, fine, on man. the nineteenth was this American Eagle color block lavender black stripe sweater for nineteen, and I get thirteen forty-eight. Ah, uh, look at that. Okay, my first on the 19th was this Urban Outfitters out from under Iris White little bralette. Sold for $20, I get 16, no eights here. <laughs> then I sold this Burberry pink Novacek tram, a bucket hat. This went to the lovely Miss Ray. Um, this was funny, I actually like bought this at the bin. One of our vintage friends was like, do you want these? And I said, yes. And I bought like two of them. I bought a sweater and a bunch of other really nice stuff for like a hundred bucks. Um, this sold for 160, I make 128. Thank you, Ray, I hope you enjoy it. It's a beautiful piece. Then I sold the Spanx men's black compression knee high socks, sold for $20. I Spanx make men's. 16. Spanx makes men's socks. Didn't know. And that. I think they make like a men's girdle. I did not know that. Then I sold from my own personal collection because I'm realizing I have like an unholy amount of these sweaters. And I think it's time that I finally kind of like move them along. Or some of them, not all of them. Uh, free people, periwinkle, chunky, oversized, easy street tunic. This is my absolute favorite sweater on planet Earth. I own it in nine different colors. Now, but he's seven, just realized because I that's sold the white many. and the no six. Because I sold the white, the red, the white, the burgundy, and the periwinkle. So now I only have six. Sold for 30 bucks. I make 24. It's going to a lovely new little home. And that is it for my 19th. On the 20th, I had three. I had two. First up was this Gap 2020 pair of Buttonfly Modern High Boyfriend jeans. Sold for 22. I get 15.88. Then I sold these Girlfriend Helena Crap High Rise jeans. And these I think were actually for my own personal collection. Sold for 50 and I get 40. They were like a little too cropped for me being like a tall dude. 
<laughs> so I ended up selling him. I think people don't realize that like Jack is 6'4". <laughs> like he's a monster of a human being. He's Thanks. so tall. Then I sold this cabbie 2020 camo parka jacket 3911 because that was its style number. Sold for 50 and I get 40. I have this priced at 90 because some cabbie comps are insane. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's sold like four likes even at $90. But I was happy to get 50. That's cute. Like for Cabby, that's crazy. That was it for my 20th. Okay, my first on the 20th went to the lovely Miss Caitlin. She got these amazing American Eagle Pride 2021 rainbow distressed jeans, which were so cute. And this really nice Free People Waffle Knit Patchwork Animal Print Top. She got the bundle for 55 and I'm like 44. Thank you, Caitlin. She also sent me the nicest little message when she bought it. It was so cute. <laughs> then I sold another one of my own personal collection sweaters. As I transitioned into teaching, I realized it's really impractical for me to have like things hanging for like paint and like, I don't want to like hit a kid in like a the face of the sweater. This was unfortunately not a contender. It was the Free People Hometown Tan Neutral Single Button Cardigan. It was amazing and I loved it, but like the sleeves hung down to like here. Balloons. So like, I that's not like feasible. It was adorable and I loved it, but like just not practical. Sold it for 50 bucks, I make 40. I think I paid like $20 for it at some consignment store a couple years ago. Then on the 21st, the last day of what sold Saturday, I had six. I had two. My first was this pair of Spanx camo printed seamless high-waisted leggings. I have quite a bit of these, but they're all extra small, which must be why they're like sitting around longer. But finally these sold for 40 and I get 32. Then I sold this Madewell gray heathered crew neck sweatshirt. I was kind of worried this would never sell, so I'm glad that it sold so quick. Sold for 22 and I get 17. Then I sold a bundle of this all over graphic Sherpa Eagle jacket and vintage camo. Kmart sweatshirt, which this was amazing. I love. Sold for 71 and I get 56.80. Then I sold this Aloe Yoga high-waisted pair of goddess leggings. I think these aren't like as hot as they used to be, but still they yeah. sold for 30 and I get 24. Good bins pickup. Then I sold this Athleta Chunky Heavy Cowl Neck Sweater, which if you guys remember from my haul, this is the one that weighs like at least three or four pounds. <laughs> it was a massive and sweater. I would not normally get this at the bins. I threw it in my cart to like re-look at and then totally forgot to take it out again. <laughs> so it sold, thank goodness, because I don't really want to lose out on that much money. It sold for 35 and I get 25, 32. And last for my week is this bundle of Anthropology Plum Pretty Sugar Floral Top. Oh, Aritzia Wilfred Walter wool <sighs> v-neck fall sweater and Lululemon Tencel Blend Soft Crew Neck. Sold for $95 and I get $73.32. My first on the 21st was this vintage upcycled Snoopy Peanuts vest. This was so cute. This was a bins find. This is going to Miss Alex. She said it's a Valentine's Day moment and I cannot wait to see that look. So cute. She got it for 42 and I make 33.60. Thank you, Alex. Then my last on the 21st was this pair of Free People Cargo Y2K Feeling Good Linen Blend Pants. These sold for 30 bucks and I get 24. And my gross for this week was 2,393. Definitely very much helped out by my your offers to Your $500 collectors. dress sale? Well, and my sending offers out. I and put your in, $400 I put dollar work, shoe sale? The blood, sweat, and tears of hitting send an offer on this item. My gross was actually really good this week. It was nine thirty nine. Nice. Like me almost breaking That's a grand. A lot higher than your recent weeks have been. That was a dig. And <laughs> my nose. I can't make my like Adam's apple go up and down. Kinda. I used to. It was one thousand nine hundred and two and forty cents. Mine was seven fifty one and twenty cents. Yeah, because like every single. Uh, oh, I don't know what that was, but that was disgusting. Every single one of those sales had like a shipping discount. So that was awful. That affects anyway. my net. So once again, if y'all would like to see Debbie. Hitting up those bins of clothes. Oh god. Debbie in the bins is very kind of like a cat if like the cat got into the cat food it's, store. It's chaotic, but then suddenly she's like, are Chanel shoes good? Yeah, she'll like pull the most random, amazing crap out of like yeah. the back of a band. She'll be like, oh, well, I just thought this craft Timbaro was so cute. And then suddenly she's like, I think Chanel is a good brand. Gucci. Yeah. Like so yeah, again, if you want to see that, let us know. I was going to say, I don't know why you wouldn't, but I know why you wouldn't. I know. I don't want I to I don't either. want to. <laughs> I don't want to see her. <laughs> and then we'll see you this next week for the Spooky Scary Bolos. That'll be so much fun. And a been tall. 
by both yes. of us. And then we'll see you back here on Saturday. So I hope you all have a great sales week. I hope eBay picks up for everybody if everybody's in the same boat as me. Yeah. I'm and <laughs> Ryan needs to get to some photographs. I have two Ikea bags of things I need to photograph today. If you can't tell by the Prada bags under my eyes, it'll be fine. We can do, yeah, we can do hard things. If you can't tell by how tired Ryan looks, he slept in until like 11.30 today. 11. Wow, Mind you're, your manners. You're so <laughs> overworked. Jack woke up before press. I did. He was like, do you want to go to the storage unit with me? And I said, no. <sighs> Immediately yeah. rolled back over and fell back to sleep. And that was me getting up at like 9.30, which was like late for me. I and then I like, heard the dogs bark when he got home. And I was like, oh, that was fast. <laughs> so I thought it was like 20 minutes. And I was like, oh, it'd been an hour. That's okay. But you don't get any rest, you're so tired no, because you're so overworked. I just worked my fingers to the bone. I hope, will you edit in skeleton hands over these hands? Just really poorly edited. Yeah. Just, those like mittens my that have Those like on. oven mitts that are just like yeah. skeleton hands. My fingers are being worked to the bone. I like that we were saying goodbye and now we're just- Minnesota here. goodbye. Yeah. Those goodbyes take We need to just year. have like therapy Thursday or something <sighs> where we just do a video where we don't talk about reselling at all. We just, we just complain about- We just pull topics out you. of the hat. There's a lot to complain about. There is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will see you guys this on is, Tuesday. This has been fun. This has been good. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.